here is a laboratory fabricated appliance that Smile Vision has developed called Overtemps. Similar concept, that is you're, you're stretching a case out by, by provisionalizing it with composite, but uh, somewhat of a more elegant approach and, and probably uh, less, less user demand. This, this was the, the case. Uh, it's been written up and shown in dentistry today in a couple articles, but this was a case to restore. And, and this type of thing is, is appropriate for moderate to advanced wear cases, where the teeth are in reasonably good alignment and, and don't require a lot of modification to place these devices. There's your uh, lateral view and your occlusal view. A lot of wear posteriorly as well as the anterior wear. I've been bruxing for years, for years. We talked about this for a long time. Now, this is that leaf gauge I told you about. This is a, a device sold by uh, Great, Lake, Great Lakes Orthodontics Laboratory that uh, allows you to alter the number of, of leaves that you put into uh, the gauge to open the bite up to where you believe it should be, which would enable you to restore the dentition. This is a, a method that I learned from, from Dr. Frank Spear, uh, and has, has proved invaluable. Uh, simply experimenting with the right height and then visualizing where that patient has to be for you to place the restoration. And then once the patient is at that height, you have them slide forward, slide back, and clench, slide forward, slide back, and clench. And in essence, you're putting them into uh, what amounts to centric relation and then capturing it with uh, a polyvinyl siloxane bite registration material. In this case, this was, was uh, Parkell's Blue Moose. I've also used Colting Relton's Jet Bite um, or Jet Blue Bite, but you capture it. And at the same time, if you recall this, this uh, reference guide that I had showed you, uh, the Kois Dentofacial Analyzer that works with the Panadent Articulator, this is a good way to make sure your midline is on the money. So what's being sent to the laboratory along with impressions is this new bite registration and this midline reference so that they can wax up the case to the new vertical. Here you see that wax up has been done. Clusal services built up and and if you take a look at the incisal lengths of these teeth, I mean at first glance you look at the, the worn dentition you, and you think to yourself, well you know, maybe they're not worn down as much as you think but look what happens when you, build, when you build them up to full height. You see how much destruction had actually taken place. It was a little bit on the subtle side. Now, the, the overtemps themselves are segmental. In this instance, we have six, four, and four. You have the three pieces that you see right here. And what they, what they do is, you, as you'll see, they actually are bonded directly to tooth structure. You know, that's, that's a... Uh, the three segments there, and there's the, the lateral view with the occlusal portion and the incisal portions in place. So nothing new in terms of uh, the looting ability. It's very much like looting veneers. So here the teeth have been etched 10 to 15 seconds. And uh, FYI, no, no labial preparation had been done on these teeth. None. Now the overtemps can be brought down to three-tenths of a millimeter so that the, t the teeth don't become... Uh, bulky, as, as you might anticipate. And here you see I'm using that premier comfort view to, to keep the, the soft tissue out of the way when we're doing this. Place the bonding agent on, air dried. And now, uh, I like Calibra, which is that dense ply paste for this because it's very thin. Uh, it, it, it flows nicely and I, it, I can seat these very easily. So that, that I find that's a nice bonding agent. That's Cox Calibra. Not a bonding agent, rather a looting agent. Just clean up the excess and again spot tacking with that two millimeter light, like you see here. I mean, would it be nice if we could do all, all veneer cases like this? Just put six in at a time like that. And then take away the excess with a micro brush. And you can get a sense for what an attractive material this is. This is uh, the prosthetic division of Koch makes a material called Radica. It's, it's a very dense composite material that's designed to do uh, long-term provisionals. 
here again, lower arch been filled up with Calibra and seed it all at one time. And again, this is just merely a reproduction of that resin replica maca. This is not difficult. This entire case was done in a morning. Cleaning up the excess. Again, uh, the more you clean up now, the less you clean up later. And it's much easier when it's soft than when it's been, been cured. Spot tacking it down again. And if you have a little void, you can take some flowable composite, like you see here, and just bead the area that has the void in it and, and uh, cure it. Seal it off very nicely. Now for alloy, and you, when you bond directly to alloy, I, I find it uh, it's important to micro etch the alloy so you get a decent bond to it. This device is called Etchmaster. It's put out by a company by the name of Groman, G-R-O-M-A-N. It's a disposable uh, etching device, uh, or you can use a Danville one if you have. It doesn't matter, but I, I, I like this uh, in certain instances because it's not quite as messy as some of the others. It puts out a very fine spray. Again, it's called the, the Etch Master. But you see, we've we've etched the alloy so that the uh, it, the resin will will bond to it uh, while it's bonding to the enamel. At the same time, we've covered it with bonding agent. And now we're taking the uh, the occlusal portion and seating it, like you see here, and taking away the excess with that same butler tip. Now, if if you find that a labial surface where there might be some infractions is unsightly, and you want to make it look better, uh, it's not against the rules to go back in, uh, do a little bit of etching and bonding, and then and then fill in a surface like this or like that with some composite resin after you've placed everything. So here the case has been placed uh, this day and the entire thing was done without any local anesthetic. It was just placed one day without anesthetic, actually one morning without anesthetic and he wore this case for several months while we, while we swapped uh, sections out, in and out throughout the course of the year. Now, just looking at this again, these were the over temps in place, and you get a look at the occlusal surfaces. And I believe that he, he returned afterwards, and I actually filled this in a little bit just to make it look a little bit better. 